Hi guys, how are you? You guys doing okay? I'm doing okay. I'm just sleepy, relaxed, and don't feel like getting myself up. And I know I have to. This is Saturday. Uh, what day is it? January the 27th. And um, everybody's still pretty much asleep. <laughs> And it's 12.30 in the afternoon. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, most of us get up late. I get up really early in the morning. I get up about 7. And I just haven't got myself going yet. And I have my glasses on. I don't even know why I put these glasses on. Meaning I should have taken them off because I was reading something, looking at YouTube and Instagram, and I just didn't take them off. So I wanted to keep them on for the camera. So, oh boy. I, as you can see, still got this bonnet on. I've got my robe on, my gown, nice and cozy. I just finished drinking my second cup of coffee. Yeah, banana was my breakfast and the coffee. <laughs> <sighs> You know, I've got to get my clothes on, shower it and all that. And I just like, oh, you know, the days when you feel so relaxed, sleepy, you just don't want to move. Well, that's today. Saturday, weekend, sleep, sleepiness. <sighs> I'm sitting here watching Love and Marriage. Uh, Huntsville or Alabama. I forgot what it's called. Let me see. Love and Marriage. Wait a second. Let me let you know. Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's what it is. No, that's in Alabama anyway. So how are you guys doing? What are you guys up to this weekend? Anybody going anywhere special, doing anything special? Um, I'm not doing anything today. Um, I went to go visit my mother yesterday and see how she was doing. And I think I'm going to go see her again tomorrow. She was sleeping when I got there to see her. So she didn't she didn't open her eyes and recognize I was there. So I'll probably go back tomorrow and visit after church. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But today, Saturday, I'm not doing anything. At least I'm not planning to do anything. I know Hubby and Aaron might go and um wash the car because it's dirty and it needs washing badly. And um I'm just tidying up around the house, you know, pretty much today, cleaning up, just doing little things around the house, things that need to be done. What I need to do, I really need to go into my buffet table and weed out, go through all my drawers and purge, throw away stuff, as well as my, um, some of my um, things in my bedroom, in my drawers, my dresser drawers. I need to go through those things. I've been saying it, and I need to go ahead and put it to action and do it. And, oh, let me tell you about last night. I fixed Hubby his dinner yesterday. He wanted, um, it was fried chicken. I fixed some fried chicken, and he had something else on the side with it. And I had fixed myself a salad prior, so I had already fix mine and I had some vegetable soup so I'm on this eating plan sorry for the shaking I'm on this eating plan to try to lose weight guys so that was that particular day where I had to eat vegetables so I had already fixed all of that set mine aside and I'm cleaning up disinfecting you know the chicken and stuff like that and when I say disinfecting the chicken, I mean, you know how you wash the sink out, you know, after you prepare it and all that. And washing my hands and just cleaning up around the oven and stuff like that and the counters. 
And we're getting ready to eat. And then all of a sudden, I start feeling nauseated. Like I want to throw up. And I'm like, oh, gosh, what in the world is going on? <laughs> you know, it's time to eat dinner. I don't know why my body would start feeling like that. And then I thought, well, did I cross-contaminate anything? And I thought to myself, I, you know, just going over everything. I said, no, I didn't do that. I know better. I mean, I know how to um, clean up, you know, right after handling meat. I know the proper way. I mean, I've learned, okay? So, I don't know. It was weird. And I started praying for myself, telling my body to line up in the name of Jesus because I'm not having this. I mean, I was preparing to eat, not get sick. <laughs> so, I wasn't really hungry, you know, because of that feeling. And I didn't want to say anything to hubby at that moment. I was like, oh, boy. And then I started on my salad and everything. And then all of a sudden, as I'm eating the food, I start feeling like I want to throw up the food. And I'm like, oh, gosh. But I didn't stop eating. I kept eating. I'm like, oh, Lord, please help me. <laughs> you know, please help me not to feel like this. Then I would stop for a moment, take some deep breath. I don't know what came over me. My stomach just just wasn't feeling all that good. So I managed to finish eating dinner. I did. I ate it all. And I just sat back and I drank my water and stuff. And then uh, two hours, two or three hours later, because this plan is a certain plan where... You can eat as much as you want or whatever. There is no limit. I mean, as long as you don't make yourself sick. I, you know, for my snack, I decided to have an apple. Well, I wasn't really hungry when I ate the apple, okay? So I ate the apple. I ate half of the apple. Then that feeling came back on me. and I started feeling sick. I said, oh, no. So I put the apple down on the side of the couch right beside me. And I was like, okay, I don't want any more of it. I don't want no more food. I don't need nothing else in my system until tomorrow because it's just that feeling. And the stomach was just, just turning and going on. So it was time to go to bed, you know, and I'm, I decided to chew up two Rolaids to see if that would help me. It helped a little bit, but then as I was in the bed and trying to sleep, I just noticed my stomach just kept going. I thought, oh, Lord, what is going on? What is, what's going on? And to make a long story short, at least I didn't get sick. Thank God. I mean, I pray for myself. I continue to pray. Lord, help my stomach. I'm just like, cause I don't like throwing up. I know you guys don't either. Throwing up is no fun. But, um, yeah, I got better, and um, throughout the night, I mean, it just seemed like my stomach was just like, it just felt like it was just turning and turning, and I'm like, oh, oh, gosh. So, I got through the night pretty good, so. Okay, you guys know I don't eat meat, so this is an alternative, which is um, called Impossible Meatballs, and this is a plant-based 
um, meat, not real, you know, made with plants. That's what it says. So um, there are, let's see, you get your 12 grams of protein, gluten fee, free, no animal, what does that say? I can't read it. I'm just going to say no animal products. I can't really read that word. I don't have my glasses on. But this is what I'll be eating tomorrow with some tomatoes, sliced tomatoes. So these look so good. Oh boy. So I'm going to put them in the oven. You can put them in the oven, air fryer, or the skillet. I don't have an air fryer, so I will, I'm going to bake it at 350. Yeah, for about 15 or 20 minutes. So let's see what they look like. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven now. Okay, I'm having two bananas for dinner and two for snack later on this evening or pretty much tonight. And these are a little bit green, but that's okay. I have them in the sun trying to get a little bit more greener. I mean yellow. But that's what's for dinner and for my snack. And then I'm going to have some... TJ soup, which is really, really good. Mmm, these are done. Ooh. Gosh, I wish I can eat one now, but I can't. I have to wait till tomorrow. Look at that. It looks so good. You know, this actually looks like a meatball, but it's not. It's made with plants. So I'm going to have these Sunday, any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever I get hungry. And slice some tomatoes to go with it. Ooh, yum, yum. Okay, it's time for Din Din, better known as dinner. Oh, boy. So I've got this nice big cup of TJ soup. Oh, it's so piping hot. I'm just going to add a few dashes of this hot sauce, Crystal. If I can get it open. Ooh, man, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat. So just a few drops in there. <laughs> Seems like more than a few, huh? Well, to me, Crystal, it's not that hot. And then a little bit... I know soy sauce is not all that good, but I'm going to add a few drops to give it a little flavor. Well, at least I heard that soy sauce isn't good. So, and some bubbly sparkling water. And this is the strawberry flavor, and I like it. It tastes so good. I already finished my bananas. I had two bananas left, so I finished those already about 5 o'clock. It's now 7.06. And I know I'm going to be hungry after I eat this. If I do, I'll eat some more. I can eat more. I'm going to eat this and enjoy. Okay, guys. It's the next week. <laughs> Actually, February 3rd is when I picked up the camera again. So this is a special day for a special young person in my life. Happens to be my son, Aaron. Yep, today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Aaron. And he is actually what society calls a man. But of course, in my book, he's always gonna be a baby to me. More like a teenager. I can't see him as a man at 21. To me, 21 is just still too young to be a, a man. But, you know, that's the way it goes. But, anywho, you guys are looking at the birthday banner that I picked up. Okay. I'm going to start off with the cute little balloons here. Big balloons. I think these look so cute. But you guys can't really see it that good because the lighting of my lights on but you know these are cute balloons i think he'll like he's still asleep right now so i don't want to talk too too loud but there's one with the little faces on there and this one here with the happy birthday it says wishing you a happy birthday and let's see let's see if i can show you the other one 
This one here says, celebrate a uh, happy birthday on there. So that's the balloons. And then this little cute little tablescape that I put together. Nothing um, too big. I just wanted to throw a little something just to make him look, uh, just to make everything look a little more festive. I'm sorry, guys. I had to go to the, um, the stove because I was boiling some water and it was boiling over like crazy. And I was hearing this noise and it startled me. And I looked over, I'm like, what in the world? But anyway, getting back to the table, it's just a little something, not the fulfilled, you know, tablescape that you would have the the um, silverware and all that. I just wanted to put something cute together. So I've got my silver chargers, these white dinner plates and um, paper plates. And I just wanted to grab these because it's the only one we have and it's blue. And of course, Aaron loves red, so I just wanted to add a little pop of color. And here are his little, some of his birthday treats, some cards here. And here is a paperweight. I think it's a happy birthday. I hope it does. <laughs> Looks like his birthday, but I think it's so cute. It has all the cute colors. He likes blue, he likes red. So, and then. I've got some hearts. Now, I know you can use these for Valentine's Day, but he is my son, so I just want to, you know, put some red on the table because, you know, heart means love, so I love him, so why not put some of these hearts on there? And then, <laughs> I think this came from his aunt, even though it's a Christmas type of box, but that's okay. That's probably what she had on hand, so there's a gift in there. And then, like I said, some cards. And here's a necklace here I got from Dollar Tree that says, Happy Birthday. Yeah, so this is going to go around his neck. I'm going to place them around his neck. And that's it. So we are planning to take him out to eat for dinner. So um, I'll probably pick you guys back up at the restaurant. We'll see how it goes, how it looks how the environment is if I feel like picking up the camera. Yeah, we just got some got some gas, so we're about to be on our way.
Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, come on, let's go now. Three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aaron. Happy birthday to you. Is that the Sunday? Take it. Oh. Let's see, you take a, a taste of it. I, yeah. Ooh, so cold out there, you guys. It's raining and I am freezing. <sighs> I told fire. hubby, I said, just close, just open the door, just unlock it. I'll just jump in. Usually he comes around, opens the door for me, but I was like, no, let me just get in. <sighs> I'll see you guys. We're leaving Chili's now, so I'll see you whenever I see you, okay? <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys doing today? I'm in the kitchen trying to get my food together. I went to the store and bought some things for my eating plan, some fruits and vegetables and things like that. And I forgot to show you guys it, but I can show you what I'm doing now with the fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I wanted to show you. I had uh, cleaned them. I put them in a um, bowl filled it up with some water and uh, ap not apple cider vinegar, oh goodness no, vinegar. So I had already, let me show you. I was just um, soaking these, which I don't want to soak them too long. So I'm taking these out, I'm gonna rinse them off really good and then I'm going to cut them up. I might put, I might cut them up, I'm not sure. You see all that dirt and debris? That's from all the pesticides and dirt and gunk these grapes here i just took off a few because i'm gonna eat those and i'm gonna eat an apple for breakfast well actually like i told you guys before this eating plan is just a healthy uh, eating plan that i'm doing so mostly fruits and vegetables and um whatnot if you guys and i'm only asking you if you are interested in seeing what if you want to know what I eat every single day, uh, let me know. This eating plan called the seven day plan that I'm doing, and I mentioned it to you before. I'm just showing you a little bit of what I'm, what I do eat, but it's not everything. But if you're interested in, in me doing a video on like may, maybe each day, show you what I eat and how I prepare it, let me know in the comment section, okay, if you're interested. I'm not going to do it if you're not interested. So if I don't get any participation down in the comment section, I'm not going to do it. But I would love to share with you guys. So please, if you're interested, let me know in the comment section. And I hope I get more than one or two comments because I, I like to do things for, you know, a group of you guys. So let me know. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> So, oh yeah, let me show you. I'm going to drink some water right now and I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar in it. Now you see my coffee is ready for me to drink, but see, I don't drink coffee until I drink my water. I try to down at least 32 ounces of water before I consume any coffee. Sometimes I will drink um, a little bit more water. So I just add, I, just, I already shook it up. So I just add just, just a touch, because this stuff is nasty. Yeah, just a little splash. And I try to drink this like two, maybe three times a day. Just a little splash, because you know, this stuff can be nasty. And if you're interested, this is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. I was told that's the best one to get with mother. Now they have a honey one, 
honey with mother, but I don't like it. I tried it. It is so nasty, and it kind of made me want to gag. Oops. So I don't, I don't deal with the honey. I just drink it plain. And then I just, you know, shake it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little... I'm going to drink the whole bottle, but not right, not all the way down. You know what I mean? So here we go. <laughs> I'm used to this. I drink it all the time, pretty much every day. Unless I run out. But I'm going to add just a little bit more because I don't really taste it. It's not that I want to taste it either because it's nasty. But apple cider vinegar has uh, a lot of health benefits for you. And I can't list them all. You want to know, just Google it. Benefits of drinking apple cider vinegar. Uh, tons and tons of benefits, guys. So, I don't really like to drink it but because of the benefits hey i'll drink it yeah so anyway um let me see is there anything else i want to show you guys before i get off of here i'm gonna let you guys go one last thing before i let you go i meant to say aaron enjoyed his birthday uh we took him out to chili's well you guys already know that but he enjoyed it he enjoyed it and he didn't get a drink he did not buy anything to drink, which I am so, so glad and I'm relieved, uh, especially after what he learned or he read something about how drinking alcohol could stump your growth. I don't know if that's true, but he he searched it and he's trying to grow taller. So that's why he won't drink it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll keep that up. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to tell you, he had a wonderful time and we had laughter and then we came back here and he opened up all of his gifts and family, a few family members came over and uh, gave him gifts as well. So he enjoyed it. So I have a young man now. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to let you go. I'm going to close it out. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to ask you to subscribe to the channel become a part of the jazzy green family i do decorating most of the time this is a decorating channel but i do do vlogs and i do do hauls and whatever else that i can get my hands on that's within my niche okay so please uh subscribe and click on that bell so that you will be notified of all my videos just tap it twice give this video a big thumbs up because it does help my channel and i welcome you to the family thank you guys so much my faithful jazzy green family members you guys are always supporting me and coming on my channel every single video and i really appreciate all of you love you you guys take care be blessed and i will see you next time bye